So you have somebody that feels rejected. They feel broken. This person feels like, um, it's like they're focusing on all of their failures, things that have not worked out in their life. This person is in regret for like keeping their heads up in the clouds about something. And it's like whatever they were hoping for, it was like a wish fulfillment. Something that could have been an illusion, something that was never going to change. Um, they're realizing was a delay. They were procrastinating. This is someone who liked um, to gamble a lot. Now, this could be physically gambling or they were gambling with time. Yeah, it's like somebody feels like they wasted a lot of time at a time that they could have been focusing on their self with healing being here. Whatever this person is going through, it's like this happened because there was something that was hidden that they needed to see. Some type of deception. Somebody around this person was wearing a mask and maybe they were avoiding this and they didn't know that person was wearing a mask. Yeah. This is someone who is finally having some type of epiphany. They're finally able to see the truth. Something is no longer hidden. Or I'm getting if this person was someone that wore a mask, they could have been hiding a lot. This person could have isolated their self from you. And it's because they didn't want you to see the real them. It's like they placed their self in some type of illusion or they've allowed a certain person or certain people to place an illusion over them. If this is someone who kind of distanced their self from you, they're realizing how much time they have wasted doing this or allowing people to do this. Because they could have been taking care of their self. This person could have been healing and they definitely could have been doing a lot of self-reflecting. Seeing the mistakes that they have made in the past so they won't repeat those same mistakes. Yeah, it's like they were more comfortable concealing their self instead of walking in their truth or being true and authentic with their self. Now they're realizing it didn't get them anywhere because they still had to do some self-reflecting. They were still like kind of forced to isolate, heal their self. Yeah, and detach from a lot of people. This is someone who feels like there was mutual respect between you and them. However you felt about this person, if you thought highly of this person, you respected this person, they didn't want to lose that. So they could, they kind of like hid their self, concealed their self. So you would not see the real them. This is someone who is looking at um, different pics and videos of you. Yeah, so this, this person could have pictures and videos of you. This could be from the past. This could be times that you have um, encounters that you have had with that person. And it's like they're trying to figure out as they're looking at these pics or videos, take it where it resonates. They're trying to figure out how to make things right with you. They're trying to gain the strength and the courage to like reach out or say something to you. This could be someone that you blocked with please unblock me. 
They could be calling you from a different number. Because they feel blocked off or they got blocked. Yeah, they want a second chance. Not being with you is killing this person. I'm ready to come clean. I can't lose you again. So this is someone who wants to speak the truth. Now, this person is someone who could be suffering or they went through some type of um, suffering phase where they felt rejected. They felt insecure. And this could be by you. This could be because of a certain energy that you were in and they felt like getting close to you, you would be able to see the real them. And they didn't want you to lose the respect that they felt like you had for them. And they tried to go towards someone else. Like they tried to replace you, um, replace the feelings that they had for you, the way that they felt about you. And go towards another person, but it didn't work out. This is someone who have been hiding the fact that they're in love with you. They were fighting this, fighting the way that they feel. Now it's like they could have gotten rejected by this person that they tried to replace you for. And now it's like they're forced to take this mask off and look in the mirror. This person is learning how to love their self now, thanks to you. Now, they could have realized whoever they tried to replace you with was someone that was only out to like use them. Because this card says, my finances are a mess. I've made bad decisions. I'm in the process of turning things around. So they could have attached their self to someone that's very like materialistic. And they felt like they were replacing you with this person. But turns out this person was someone that was like using them. They could have seen this person as a come up or something like that. Somebody definitely could have ran into an opportunist. Yeah, and it's like they felt rejected the moment they felt like this person was only out for whatever they could provide or give to them. Now, this person did not stop watching you, focusing on you with creeping being here. Then you have too busy winning. So they felt like you went off and focused on other things. This could be different goals, things that you want to accomplish in life. And it's like you've evolved, you've accomplished different things that they um, definitely felt like they feel like the things that you have accomplished, whatever it is that you have accomplished has helped them to see that they've been wasting time or procrastinating. But they feel like you've accomplished a lot or you've just grown a lot over time. If you you as someone that's stable, you could be a business owner. You could be attracting a lot of attention as well. Like there's a lot of people that um, admire you. This could be a lot of people that are wanting to come towards you with an offer. Yeah, and they're intimidated by this. Yeah, because they feel like you've completely moved on. With moving on and same, same thing, same, um, same thing, different day. So they feel like you've moved on and they've been stuck dealing with the same thing or doing the same thing over and over again. Um different day this person feels like they attracted someone that was um not only 
using them for financial gain or whatever they could provide for them. But this person is someone that they, they love attention. They seek attention. They have to be the center of attention and they don't care where they get it from. Now, they could have put this person in a third party with someone that was close to them. They're finding out that this energy um, had multiple people that they were attached to. It wasn't just them. Yeah. Yeah, somebody ran into bad karma. And it's like whoever the person is that they tried to replace you with, this is someone who has a bad reputation. And they feel like they attracted this person because this person is someone who um, they were in the same energy as them. They were wearing a mask. They valued the same things in life, things that weren't important. And these could have been material things, material attachments, seeking attention from people, um, just being so far away from self. We have missed opportunity. This is someone who, as this popped out sideways, they're unsure if they've missed the opportunity with you. This is someone who feels like they didn't act when they should have. If this person felt like walking away from you would um, do some type of damage, cause some type of hurt, maybe they wanted you to... Think low of yourself. They wanted you to feel rejected. And if you felt some type of hurt, some type of emotional pain after this person walked away from you, they felt it too. This immediately backfired. Yeah, they feel like you and them are different. We're different um, with... We have too many differences. Somebody valued money more than anything or just material things looking a certain way, having to be seen a certain way in front of different people. I'm hearing facade. It's like somebody was putting on a facade. Yeah, and they feel shattered about this because whatever um, illusion that they were in and they had been placing over their self and attracting people that were placing illusions around them and over them, it broke. And they weren't happy when they seen um, what they were seeing in the mirror. Yeah, they felt like they messed up something good. They sabotaged a connection that they want to have with you now. Yeah, this is someone who wants to be um, in a commitment with you. They want a future with you. But they feel like they didn't appreciate whatever it is that you had to offer them. And it was because they were unsatisfied in their own life. And they did not want you to see the truth. This person felt like their life was a mess. But yeah, being away from you has allowed them to gain a lot of clarity. Then you have reunion. We will always come back to each other. So there's a reunion that is supposed to happen between you and this person. This is someone who can no longer hide the way that they feel.
And if they've gotten hurt or went through some type of emotional pain because they're realizing they attracted the same type of energy that they were in when it came to you, they're trying their best to forgive. This could be forgive their self. Forgive another person. I still think about you. So this is someone who never stopped thinking about you. They never stopped checking up on you. I want to man up and honor you. So this is someone who wants to match your energy. They want to meet you halfway. Is there a second chance? Yeah, it's like they could be going back and forth um, with this opportunity popping out sideways, missed opportunity. They're unsure if they still have a shot with you or if there's a second chance to make things right with you. I want you to enjoy life. So this is someone who does not want you to be unhappy about what they did to you. Whatever they did to you, it was only a reflection of their pain that they were hiding and they did not want you to see. Their insecurities. Um, and different things like that. I could lose myself in you. You fill me up with happiness. I've never met someone like you. You mean more to me than you think. You are adorable. So this is someone, as I said, they've been keeping up with you even though um, there's this distance between you and them. And they're checking up on you because they're trying to gain the strength and the courage to like reach out or reconnect with you. This is someone who feels like they just, they messed up and they don't know what to do, how to fix things. Now, this person could have went outside of their self for advice from different people and that didn't end well. And they could be learning a lesson about using their intuition, not going outside of their self. Whatever questions that they have, the truth is always going to be within them. They have to be able to isolate, clear their mind so they can make the proper decisions for their life. Whether it's for, um, you know, moving on from different situations walking into a new cycle, or if they're wanting to come toward you, this is someone who have to realize they have to trust in their self, trust in their intuition. Yeah, this is someone who did not know how to go within. This person had been confused for a long time. But you, this... <laughs> Whoever this person is, they tried to confuse you. And this is why they're having this hard time. It's like they expected for you to be isolated, feeling rejected. And it just did not happen that way. It's like you moved on quick. They didn't expect for you to move on. They didn't expect for you to walk away. Yeah, but this is someone that's definitely um, happy that you walked away. They couldn't confuse you. It's like if you wouldn't have walked away from this person, they wouldn't have been able to see the truth about their self, their life, um, see that they have been wasting a lot of time procrastinating and there was a cycle that they needed to end out. They definitely wouldn't have been able to see that somebody placed them in an illusion. They're seeing that this is their karma. Because when you pulled your energy back and walked away, they felt left out in the cold. Yeah. And 
it's like whatever you were moving on towards, it wasn't a connection like a relationship. It was you. You were moving on for you not to jump in a commitment with someone else. Now, this could be someone who also um, was accustomed to leaving one connection and jumping in the next. It's like a rebound. They had to be attached to someone to make them forget about or get over the next person, but they weren't truly healed from the last person or the bad experiences that they have had. They're just attracting that same energy in different people. They didn't know this. It's like somebody was just running, running towards unrequited love over and over again. A never ending cycle that needed to end out. And as I said, they were keeping their self confused for a long time. Yeah. And it's like whoever the person is that they were attached to, this person is in regret about something. Now, maybe they were trying to stop this person from ending out this cycle. If they knew that this person was someone who wanted to like come towards you or they felt a certain way about you, um, they were trying to like prevent that person from leaving them. And it's because whatever they were getting from this person, it's like they didn't want to lose. They wanted to make sure they can keep that person stuck. But now they're regretting something. They're regretting this. Yeah, because now it's like if they had different options, different people that they were talking to in the background while being attached to this person, they've lost all of those options. Like they don't have anyone else. They've ran out of options. So now they're solely dependent on this person and they're very bitter, angry, doing a lot of things that are petty to try to keep this person stuck. Yeah. It's like they wasted a lot of time because they just didn't want that person to come towards you. They felt like they had that person confused. But now that that person is no longer stuck, they feel stuck. They feel trapped. Yeah, as the Eight of Swords popped out in the reverse. Yeah, somebody has ran out of options, two of pentacles in the reverse. They, Because they, whoever this energy is that wants to come back toward you, they're no longer wanting to avoid their feelings, their emotions that they have for you. And it's because they chose to heal. Now that they're realizing they could not keep this person stuck, this was not going to work, um, they're regretting this. They're disappointed. And it's like, instead of looking in the mirror, they're blaming you and they're blaming this person. Yeah. Because somebody thought they had it going on, like they were able to juggle and they could no longer like go back and forth between this person and other people. Yeah, especially if a lot of people are talking about this energy with bad reputation being here. Nobody wants to deal with this person. Yeah, and they could not get whoever the person is because this has popped out in the reverse. Somebody was expecting someone to kiss their behind. They could have tried to impersonate you, act like you, look like you, and that didn't work. Yeah. Now, somebody came to this person with some type of evidence, some type of screenshot, some type of proof. And this could be involving their reputation. And they kind of like, you know, told them, don't say anything. And this could be why they isolated themselves from this person. 
somebody that was in this energy that they tried to replace you with, somebody that was in that person's circle came to this person that wants to reunite with you, reconnect with you, and they exposed something about this person and told them don't say anything. Yeah, next thing you know, they were moving on from this person. They wanted nothing to do with that person. But this person felt like they're coming toward you. Yeah, they found out this person had some type of STD. Wow. You have an offer popping out in the reverse. Yeah, they no, they were no longer interested in that person. Yeah, and this person got upset. As I said, they wanted to take it out on you. They thought they started a lot of drama. This person was angry, enraged, bitter because that person did not want to be in a connection with them, relationship with them. They didn't want to, um, you know, give them a solid offer of commitment. Yeah, not fully knowing the truth, not knowing that somebody exposed them. Now, this could have been a friend of theirs, somebody that they trusted with karmic friends being here. And they could have been a part of a, a group of friends that secretly compete with each other. They can't fully trust each other. There's always some type of tension, some type of hidden resentment jealousy envy amongst this group of friends and one of these friends won up this person and show whoever this energy is that wants to come back toward you the truth like some type of proof yeah they exposed the truth they had proof and this was definitely something that they thought they buried with haunted being here something from the past it came back to haunt them at a time that they did not expect Yeah, it's like somebody was left clueless, not knowing that somebody in their circle kind of one up them, exposed them, but they were thinking that this person was coming toward you. You're the reason why this person walked away from them when that had nothing to do with you. And they were sitting back secretly in competition with you for this person. Yeah. Yeah, because they were under the impression that this person was leaving them out in the cold and coming towards you for a commitment, a relationship, to build a stable foundation. They were in and out of cycle. This could be someone who definitely knew that this person would be walking away from you, in and out of cycle. And they intentionally tried to like keep that person stuck in an illusion. So this is someone who could have knew that that person was trying to replace you with them. And they fed into it. They were secretly competing with you. Or maybe they kind of like tricked this person to walk away from you in the past. And they didn't know. Or they could have been doing some type of spell work. Some type of magic. And they thought when this person walked away from you, it was working. Not knowing that this person was someone who did not want you to see the truth about who they truly are. Yeah, somebody definitely thought that they got this person to walk away from you, but that was an illusion. Yeah. We have the moon and the three of swords. They thought they placed some type of illusion over this person to separate from you. And it's like right after they placed some type of illusion they felt like over this person to get them to walk away from you, separate from you, the truth came out about them like it immediately backfired. Somebody exposed them. And it was something about an STD. This left whoever this person is 
feeling rejected because they feel like a fool for walking away from you. They felt like you had been focusing on yourself, working on yourself, and they had been wasting a lot of time. They could have been doing the same thing, just focusing on their self instead of um, trying to jump in another connection. Or just be a part of a relationship or be attached to someone. This is definitely someone who dealt with abandonment issues. Like they had troubles, trouble being by their self, focusing on their self. It's like they needed to be attached to someone. But they ran from you. It's like they knew they could not attach their self to you. And they ran from you because they, um, you're someone that it's not hard for you to be your true authentic self. You don't have to hide anything. And they also were not accustomed to someone like you. Yeah. This is someone who is definitely ready for um a relationship. You're their wish fulfillment. You have the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Empress. This is someone who definitely knew whatever they were doing to um confuse you would backfire. And it did. And it's like whatever this person that they attached themselves to, that they attracted, did to place an illusion over them, it immediately backfired. Yeah, this is someone who was definitely stuck in their ego and they went through some type of ego death. I can't let you go. I really do care even though I don't show it. I want to reach out, but I don't know how to. I hate seeing you with them. I'm ready for commitment. I need to tell you the truth. So this person with, I hate seeing you with them. This person could have felt like you would hate on the connection that they had with this person that they were trying to replace you with. This would make you feel some type of way. As I said, this would make you feel rejected alone. You would feel insecure. And it was this person's insecurities that they felt like they were projecting onto you that immediately backfired. Because you weren't focused on a commitment or a relationship at that time. You were focused on yourself and this is how you were able to um, evolve. Yeah. This is someone who is definitely wanting to come towards you, come clean about their emotions and speak the truth. Whatever was hard for that person to do in the past, um, they're gaining the strength and the courage to do so. Like to open up and express their self, talk, um, like have heart to heart conversations. Okay, so this person needs to tell you the truth about different people that were jealous of this connection these were obstacles as well now this could be this person going to other people for advice 
and they ran into bad advice. They weren't able to discern that these people were jealous. It's like they went outside of their self. To get advice for something that they could have just went within. To get. Yeah, you are enough. The person you are meant to be with will love you the way you are and don't need to change. So this is someone who definitely felt rejected by this person. They felt like they weren't enough. And it was because they ran into someone that had multiple people that they were attached to. And they thought that they were getting away with, with this until somebody exposed them. They not only told them the truth about some type of STD, but they told them about these people that they were attached to. And they could have went around, like somebody made another person mad. Or if they felt like they were getting away with something, the person that they could have confided in, they thought they were close to, they could have bragged about this too, was the same person that um, was preying on their downfall. The same person that was going behind the scenes to all of these people that they felt like they were, you know, getting over on and exposing the truth. Yeah, they are the one. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. So whoever this person is, this is someone that you're meant to um, be with. This could be your divine counterpart. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So if your divine counterpart was someone that had trouble controlling issue, because this card says let go of control, let go of the need to control. So maybe they felt like they would be able to control you by trying to get back at you because they felt like they couldn't match your energy. They couldn't let you see the real them. You kind of made them feel insecure. Um... And it was just because of the energy that you were in. There was nothing that you did to that person. Them not being able to like meet you halfway or match your energy, it made them feel some type of way. But they allowed their self to um, run into a bad... They ran into negative karma. Instead of just taking out the time to focus on their self. You, on the other hand, chose to allow the situation to unfold naturally. If you knew you were aware that this is your divine counterpart, you didn't sweat this person. You just gave it time or you just chose to focus on yourself, focus on things that you want to accomplish. And now you're prospering. You're someone that's very abundant in life. And this doesn't mean that you're someone that's rich. It's like you have that mindset to manifest anything that you want out of life. Whether it's love, abundance, riches, wealth. Whatever it is that you want to manifest for your future, you're someone that's very mature. And you know how to do so. Yeah, somebody did not want to. Um, it's like that they're now letting go of the need to control the situation it took for you and them to be in separation in order for them to see the truth about their self they could have also found out you're their divine counterpart yeah you have unbreakable love this person has genuine love for you you can overcome any issues that may arise so, yeah, this is someone who feels like you have unconditional love for them. You've helped them to gain their strength and courage. You've helped them to see that they can overcome a lot of challenges that they felt like they couldn't overcome in life. And it's because you chose to stand in your power. You chose to focus on yourself. You didn't allow the energy that they were trying to project onto you to affect you. Because you already knew the truth. You already knew that this person was trying to um, 
hide the way that they truly felt about you. You knew this person was like running from their self. And you definitely knew that this person was someone who um, could have still needed to end out a karmic cycle. Yeah, you and that person just weren't on the same page. And there was nothing that you could do to like make that person be on the same page. They had to see this for their self. This is someone who needed to come to this realization. Yeah. This is someone who also struggled with addictions. With beware of codependency. Addictive behaviors are affecting your romantic life. Yeah, this is someone who definitely realized that whatever they were codependent to, if this was a drug or this was alcohol or some type of addiction that they had, a bad habit, whether this was materialism, they attracted this same type of energy. And they're realizing being in that energy is affecting their romantic life. Romantic partnership that they want to have. So I'm going to close this reading out with one of these messages from the Universal Oracle cards. This card says, if you frequently give yourself permission to doodle, wonder, and be totally unproductive, and you actually relish such interludes, I can guarantee that your genius, creativity, and productivity will increase expeditiously. So this is someone who is definitely realizing once they step out of their comfort zone, they're able to conquer um, and manifest whatever it is that they want out of life. Conquer any obstacle, overcome anything that they feel like um, it's keeping them stuck or delaying them. Somebody was not accustomed to like just stepping out of their comfort zone and doing them. Doing something other than what they could have been doing for a long time. Yeah, they definitely were not accustomed to healing. Like you've opened that person up to wanting to focus on their self and love their self. And it's because you weren't focusing on this person. You were focusing on yourself. 